Hello once again everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Rayman Origins. This is episode 41. Um, today we're going to be taking on the Luscious Lake speedruns. First of which is uh, this level here that I already forget the name despite the fact that I just looked at it. And I left another death in. I'm just amazing at these editing things, aren't I guys? <laughs> I'm sorry for my lack of intelligence in this part department. But oh well, consider those little easter eggs I guess despite the fact that you don't really have to search for them. This video is going to be nowhere near as long as the last one, it's probably only about 4 minutes I think, because the levels are much shorter and there's a lot less of them. I think there might be only 2 levels you have to speedrun in this world. Um, as There's kind of like a pattern, the first couple of levels in the world you need 4 to speedrun like 4 levels and then it drops to 2 or 3. It's really weird the way they did that, I don't know, and the, the amount of levels in the world changes too, I don't know why they decided to do it that way. This level is pretty easy, um, you just gotta remember where all the little tricky jumps are, but like getting through this is not hard at all. It's practically just jumping over and over and over again. I think the really only tricky part is right here with that guy. You kinda gotta avoid him, and if you don't, you're biting the dust, but... Oh, this part's a little bit tricky too. I don't know how I don't get hit by his flame, but I don't, and that's definitely a good thing. Getting up here, I screw up a lot. I, I don't know why I have such a problem just getting up that. But uh, here you just want to drop down. You can go really quick and not do that. I thought I was going to die again, but I should know that I'm not. I'm still in suspense for whatever reason. I know that these are successful attempts. Except for, you know, the first one, obviously, that I forget to cut out. We get these things that shoot up. You got to grab onto them. Unlike what I'm doing here. There we go, I get up there finally. We got about half a minute left before the the trophy runs out. Maybe, are we going to get it? I don't remember to be honest with you. I use Rayman's little up attack that gives you a lot of height to my advantage in the stage. Uh, get up here, cross across the spoons here, watch out for the lava that comes down. And of course I screw that up. What else is new though? And I try to use the up attack there. I use it advantageously there, finally. Somehow, I still get the trophy despite all of the failure, but I'll take it. And yeah, there, I'm pretty sure there's only one more level in this in this world in Luscious Lakes here. We got Pickle Fruit, and I think this this is going to be the last speedrun, to be honest with you. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. At a minute 34, yeah, that'll put us at about 4 minutes, so... Only 2 levels you get a speedrun, so it's a very easy world. And I believe the next 2 only have 2 speedruns as well, but I could be wrong. We'll find out tomorrow, right? At least about the next level. Or the next world, rather. But on to this level. This level is really kind of tricky. And I hate I hated this level when I was first playing through it. But the speedrun's even worse because if you take hits, you're, you're starting over if you don't have your extra hit. Right here, you definitely want to take the upper path because it's much easier to navigate than going down. Um, but just all the little things you gotta avoid in this level are just really frustrating. Because you can have things crush you. You can have these spike things jump on you, it's just, there's so much that's out to kill you. Like right there, I take an unnecessary hit, but we make it through it nonetheless. Luckily with um, Rayman still being alive, we don't have an extra hit though, which kind of sucks. Well, I think we're nearing the end of it, we're at a minute already, we only have about 30 seconds left before the trophy runs away. It runs away, like it's like it runs away. Before the tro trophy self-destructs itself as uh, Paper Napkin pointed out in the one video. I guess it doesn't want any chance of you collecting it, so it destroys itself. But there's the end of the level, and if you don't suck like me, you can jump straight up there. There we go. Plenty of time to spare. That's the last level here, guys. Thank you everybody for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.